Welcome to the introduction to managerial finance video tutorials. In this section, we are going to cover the introduction to financial statement analysis. We do financial statement analysis to evaluate the financial performance and position of a firm at a certain point in time or over a certain period. Financial statement analysis is sometimes called ratio analysis, as we would do calculations of financial ratios and more importantly, interpret what those ratios mean. I believe it is more important to understand what the ratios mean than to calculate them. The ratios would oftentimes be calculated for you already. Since these ratios cannot be looked at in isolation, we would use comparisons to form our opinion. We could use industry comparative analysis, which is also called benchmarking. This is where we compare our performance to an industry average of our peers. We can also use time series analysis. This means that we can look at the ratios in the context of how they have been moving over time. For example, a company may have the lowest profitability compared to the industry average. However, it may have the biggest growth over time. That is relevant information. There are five warnings that you must heed when doing financial statement analysis. If you don't, there is a risk that your interpretation of the results may be incorrect and lead to you or other people losing money. The first one is that a single ratio does not equal the overall performance of a company. You have to look at a set of ratios to form an opinion. If you're comparing results, make sure that the dates being compared are the same. This is particularly important for businesses that show seasonal fluctuations. We want to compare like with like. Thirdly, use audited financial statements. The audit process and the signing off of financial statements by the auditors gives us a level of comfort that the numbers we are looking at in the financial statements do indeed represent the state of affairs of a company. Watch out for the bigger is better approach. A company could have the biggest profitability. However, if you look at them over time, they may show the biggest decline as well. This would increase the risk that in future that company may not have the biggest profitability. And then finally, ensure that the data being compared was developed in the same way. We always want to compare like with like. For example, if you are comparing two companies and one accounts for some expense as part of cost of sales, while the other one accounts for that expense as part of operating expenses, looking at the gross profit figure may be misleading. There are five groups of ratios that are generally looked at for analysis. These are the profitability ratios, generally looking at the performance of your operations over a certain period. Then we have liquidity ratios. These assist us to understand whether we can meet our short-term obligations with our current assets. We then have activity ratios. They assist us to understand the speed in which things are happening in the business, especially within our current assets and current liabilities. Then we have our debt or solvency ratios. As the name indicates, these are showing us how debt is part of our business and we can deduce from that the associated risk it brings. Finally, we have market ratios. These are mostly used for companies listed on the stock exchange. We won't cover these ratios in these videos, but just be aware that they do exist.